Clay back. Welcome back. Man, it's difficult to be on the internet and not get scammed. You know who's been the most recent perpetuators of scams on the internet, Marcel? Who's that? Entertainers. And mm. John Wall is the newest one of all. Um, and and Coffeezilla here is claiming that John Wall actually did a speed run world record to figuring out about a, an industry to using it to scam his fans. Gee, boy. Okay, for those who don't know how NFTs work, <laughs> <laughs> NFTs are like digital collectibles. So you might see a photo like this one right here. This could be worth zero dollars, five cents. It could also be worth $500,000. Let me give you an example. So look, this is a tweet from Logan saying, another significant offer on my world of women FT. 205,000, flattered and happy to see a growing interest in a project that I love, but I'll never let this one go. And you can see how much the offer he had was for this specific digital collectible. There's the value in NFTs. Just give you a little bit of context. Now, these are examples of successful NFTs. And legitimate ones. Yes, yes. Well, let's, let's take a look at John Wall's new NFT. Ladies and gentlemen, scamming has been around for a very long time. So has speed running. But I'm happy to say a new sport may be emerging here. NFT speedrun scamming is now here thanks to John Wall. Let's begin start the timer now. John Wall said on September 15th, I'm hopping into the NFT wave. What are some projects I should look into? Oh boy. It only took him an astonishing seven days to go ahead and create his own NFT project after telling everybody that he knew nothing about NFTs. This was announced a week after he said, I'm hopping into the NFT wave. He took seven days to study the market and <laughs> realize what everyone realizes, which is this is just ripe to uh, give a Fiverr artist a few bucks and then go ahead and launch your own scam. So look at this, proud to announce my very own Baby Ballers US NFT, raising 100,000 to give to charity and my ballers community. And then we see the beautiful art. So don't let the charity stuff like bamboozle you. There's been plenty of NFTs that claim to donate certain proceeds or maybe all of it to certain charities and didn't do any of that. So a lot of these end up being pump and dumps. Don't let the word charity bamboozle you into thinking that like this is done for a great cause. Yeah. Although sometimes that might be the case, not always. I actually know exactly how this happened. I know exactly how this happened. John Wall puts out a tweet saying he's interested in NFTs. A couple of people that look legitimate reach out to him and say, we'll do all the work. You'll get this percentage of income. All you have to do is promo it. Mm. And they do all the legwork. John Wall probably didn't even know a lot of this was going on, but it's his name being attached to it yeah. that the other people who hit him up are profiting off of. You know how I know this? Because when I went to the boxing event in Miami, multiple people reached out to me saying, all you got to do is promo my coin. I'm going to give you a fuck ton of my coin. We're going to make millions. I was approached. And, and every time I went... I'm good on that. They went, no, 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 you have to really look at it. They won't let me leave, bro. But damn, John Wall, you probably get reached out with plenty of opportunities when it comes to merch, when it comes to just side careers, music, when it comes to your own shoes. Like, you probably get reached out all the time. You, your management, your agency should be able to, like, sift through the bullshit. And uh, this one went through, and, and you'll see exactly why it is bullshit in a moment. Artwork that is going to, going to uh, launch them to the moon. And I want you guys to all take in this glorious piece of artwork and ask yourself, have I seen any part of yeah. this before? And if you're thinking, yes, you'd be correct. That is in part because, um, well, people notice this looks almost identical to the boss baby, but also that his background is ripped straight from Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give <laughs> oh it a hand for the speedrunner, John Wall. This is an impressive level of um, copyright infringement and just general laziness. You just steal your background from Fortnite. Fortnite NFTs, guys. <laughs> I wanna point something out here, which is basically that, of course, I don't believe all NFTs are scams, but what is going on here, ladies and gentlemen, is just the laziest, most blatant out there. I'm just gonna take your money scams right now. These people couldn't have even read the Wikipedia definition of an NFT before they launched their own projects and people somehow buy it. Now, interestingly, now that he's been caught um, doing this with the Fortnite background, he's removed the background from his tweet, never addresses it, never talks about it, that he just got caught red handed <laughs> with stolen content. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they're gonna blame it on their designers. Oh, and it looks like they are already. Here's from their Discord. I joined it, of course. I had to had to check it out. Oh my God. Uh, they said, we've heard the concerns with the community regarding the realization of the Fortnite background used on the banner and in the pieces of marketing content. Firstly, we'd like to apologize as the team did not notice this once the marketing designs were made. What? And the Bro, how do you 
not know you didn't Google search a fucking Fortnite background, nigga? If you just reverse image search that, it'll pop up, bro. It'll be the first thing that pops bro, up. Bro, come on, bro. So again, like Aiden said, either you're so far removed from what's happening, you just let a group of people go, and you're like, bro, I'm just going to close my eyes. Y'all just come with whatever. <laughs> and then you just, hey, all right, let's ship it out. Don't even look, don't even like, like take a peek at it. Let's just ship it out. Or you knew that it's a money grab the entire time and hope that nobody else acknowledge it. But doing a Fortnite background out of all video games, my nigga, Fortnite, bro? That's the most popular one. Yeah, one of the most video games, one of the most popular video games of all time. The fact that you decided to just roll the dice on that is wild. Uh, nigga. No one's going to be able to tell. <laughs> I'm a basketball player using a basketball Fortnite. Oh, that's all this girl learns. <laughs> nigga, you crazy, nigga? Are you wild? had no idea you couldn't create a piece of original content in seven days from learning you had what NFTs were. That's awesome, and then I right? love this post, which all of them say, please understand we have no plans of making this the typical celebrity cash grab that is sometimes seen in the community. That? Do you realize- Why would you say that? It's like they're acknowledging this exists, but not us though. I mean, it's like an SNL sketch, no fucking cap. A nigga, a nigga acknowledging what this is in the middle of doing it. Okay, like, you fucking dumb. Why would you even? Why even bring it up? It's probably like a, a good portion of people like who just diehard John Wall fans who probably didn't even like think that to be the case. Scam. Wait, that's gonna be this. Whoa, that's a thing. What's going on now? Everybody says that. Every celebrity cash grab all say this saying your typical celebrity cash grab. <laughs> that's what all of them say. It's like saying. This isn't financial advice. That is almost always preceded by financial advice. I mean, I can't believe anyone within their right mind would believe this. But then again, there are people who are still interested in crypto zoo after realizing it's Adobe stock images. So I, I guess- So this is, this is actually common. He, I watched another video of his where he was exposing a crypto called crypto zoo. And they were basically taking two pictures that were Adobe stock images, morphing them, and then calling it original art. And then when people are like, yeah, that's on, that's not like Adobe stock photos. They were like, nah, these are original. It's brutal. Let me show you. Cause it's it's actually like this NFT shit runs deep. The photos of CryptoZoo are basically a bunch of stock photos from Adobe that have been poorly photoshopped, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at this. Penguin plus shark. Look, these are Adobe photoshopped stock photos, ladies and gentlemen. Poorly photoshopped, might I add. Like, look, look at their white paper. Meet the panda font. And then you have this abomination. <laughs> Hold on, the naming is about as original as the artwork, which is not at all. Now to confirm these were taken from Adobe, I went and I hunted down this exact image. And here it is, cute giant panda bear climbing in a tree. Does it look familiar, ladies and gentlemen? Can you see similarities here? Can you tell that this is the same exact image? I mean, look, at this point, Logan Paul is creating Squidward levels of art here. He's taking someone else's work, slapping a nose on it, and calling it <laughs> art. And then selling the idea. <laughs> yeah, bro, this shit is crazy, dog. And there's plenty of, like, great cryptos. I mean, and, and NFTs. But because it's unregulated, people are pump and dumping. In stocks and equities, pump and dumping is illegal. In crypto, people are getting away with it. So it's like, for as exciting as all this new technology is for, for artists and for, and even, check this out. Philadelphia 76ers new sponsor is crypto.com. That's gonna be on their jerseys now. Like this shit is big to the point where the NFL, the National Football League banned uh, cryptocurrencies and NFT sponsorships because they wanna make their own. So if players go out and get their own, that's gonna be a yeah, conflict of interest. Yeah. So they want the teams in the league to have their own uh, cryptos mm. and NFTs because they know how much money is there to be made. So mm. plenty of money to be made to the point where people like Gary Vee genuinely believe that, you know how like you get a physical ticket to go to a basketball game? Yeah. And that's like memorable. People store their tickets. Yeah. In the same way, they want to offer NFTs on tickets. So like each ticket is its own, almost like collectible digitally as well. And you get like digital rewards with it as well. I believe NFTs will be very relevant in the future. Yeah, for sure. But when I see people like John Wall come in this space and in seven days do this right here, <laughs> it's like, why are you delegitimizing it for the rest of us? We want to enjoy this, man. I was watching a video, I, I don't know where it is, but I was watching a video where somebody was explaining like the way that a lot of people got rich 
over the course of like back in the day, like in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, because they mm-hmm. were taking advantage of things that were not regulated at the time. Yeah. Like now, you can't just take advantage of like the stock market because it's regulated to hell. Like, mm-hmm. and that's why a lot of people like try to like, no more regulations, deregulate, direct, because they want to just try to take advantage of certain markets. Indeed. Like, John Wall's like going to be like the top, like the third or fourth highest paid player next year in the NBA. Yeah. Why? Still doing it. Why? Because they probably why? reached out to him like, yo, you can make 300000 this week off of this right here. And he did it. It's like, yeah, I guess it's appealing. Like, when, who doesn't want to make... When is enough enough, though? Like, That's a fantastic question. When, it, when it, Hey, I want to know. When is enough enough, bro? Why, why? Especially why I have to, like... You know where, in fact, there's a bunch of John Wall fans who are going to, like, get behind this? Like, hey, baby John Wall, man. Got my NFT. <laughs> 15K right now, y'all niggas want it. It's rare. Only going to be two more and, and produced. Mm-hmm. What? Very rare. Very rare. Hey, hey, try not to get scammed out there, my guys. Listen, if it's, listen, if I'm going to scam, if I, if I did get the propensity to scam, mm. even though I don't need to scam. We'll never upload another video on this channel because I'm not <laughs> sitting next to a nigga who's scamming. Not on NFT, my nigga. I'm not, you're not scamming niggas on NFT. I'm coming out with my NFT next week, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Your agent coin? Yeah. And it's going to be different agents with different fedoras. Okay. And it's going to be Adobe stock photos of like James Bond or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I need y'all to really commit to it when I drop it, all right? That's how I'm going to make my money off the backs of your guys' hard work. <laughs> hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, look at... She was trying to scam too. Ain't no way, man. Mm. Click that video and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.